Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Let's 100% Grand Theft Auto 3. So this episode, we'll be finishing the unique jumps here. Shoreside Vale. So, uh, let's go to the first one. Yep. It's actually, uh, it's the wooden bridge with the hidden package that was underneath it. We're gonna ramp it. So, yep, as you can see, you got the Banshee. Uh, you want to start around the uh, entrance to Shortside Vale, which is kind of why I could have taken the tunnel. There's the path. I'm going to drive uh, around here. Okay, that's... Uh, it's never good when I have to turn around and try again before I even move. Alright, so here we go. Oh, uh, oh! I don't think that's going to count, but it's pretty neat to look at. No, it didn't count. Why do I... Oh! <laughs> I save, save, and I get out because I pressed triangle because I thought I was going to die. So, uh, now we just drive back and try again because that was a total fail. Okay, so uh, let's attempt this again. I might break the banshee. That didn't count because it. What the? Ah, uh, this probably not gonna count either. Whoa! I'm getting some serious flippings. I don't think. Land it? Yeah! Ah. Oh. oh, I did. It did count. It did count. That's good. All right. I... These unique jumps in uh, Shoreside Vale are a little bit more tricky than the ones elsewhere. I don't know if you can tell, but things are slightly more tricky to do in Shoreside Vale, like the uh, ramp stages, and even the hidden packages are more hidden than usual. <laughs> Alright, so, just save. and we're going to drive back to the airport. So, there's a good amount of uh, unique jumps that are actually in the airport. So I'll do those. Cars in the way. This time I'll take the tunnel. Yeah, while we're driving there, there's not much to talk about. Yep, yep. Francis International. So if you look at where we are on the map, we're literally right underneath the road we just drove over, meaning we didn't make any progress, and my banshee is, like, gonna be so trashed. What the hell? Come on. This is absurd. <laughs> well, if I find another banshee, I'll just get it, because this one's just wrecked already, and I want to use, use it for unique jumps. Thank you. 
Come on. Yeah, there we go. Well, as long as she's running away, I'll just be really careful. Okay. Now we can actually do the jump. Uh. Okay, so I'm gonna literally just try to do this in like one sweep. We can just drive in. And it's this ramp right here. Yeah! You need to clear the wing of this plane here. Oh, wow! I didn't even touch it. That was, that was, that was pretty awesome. Oh. Alright, so this next one is literally this one right here. So uh, we're gonna, we have to get speed, like a lot of speed. So I'm gonna drive all the way over to this one, which will be a future one. And just do this. As long as you don't touch the building, eh, I didn't touch it. I'm pretty sure that counts, and it does. Okay. So next one is uh, literally this hangar right here. So I'm just gonna drive around here. Hopefully we won't touch it. Good, uh, good, good ramping there. Hi, helicopter. I hope you didn't ruin it. Thank you. Oh, oh, that's that's lame though. I hate flipping vehicles. All right, we're gonna sprint over and try to do this in a cop car. That's probably a bad idea because you you need like the fastest possible vehicle. Well, speed this up. Okay, let's see if this is possible to do in a cop car. It's basically uh, the same jump, only a little bit further down. Man, I don't think this is gonna do it. I do not think this is gonna do it. Play. Oh, maybe. Hey, what do you know? There's another one. So yeah, there's. As you can see, a pretty good amount in, in the airport. Well, now I'm going to go save, because the uh, next one is right... You literally start from the hideout, so now I'm going to have to drive all the way back to the hideout. Okay, uh, this might not be a good idea, but seeing as the last jump worked with the police car, I'm going to do this one in the police car as well. So uh, this is a water jump, which is why I saved, because I don't want to have to redo the, all the airport ones, even though they're fun. So you're going to just drive down here. You want to get speed. And I'll just try and drive there, uh, I don't know what I'm trying to say, <laughs> and just keep moving, like, I'm not going to stop and start. So it's this ramp over here, you want to, well, it's not really a ramp, but, you know, earth ramp, and as long as we, I'm pretty sure as long as you just make it to the other side, 
in a good enough way, it counts. And that didn't count because, you know, why not? <laughs> what? I didn't see anything wrong with that jump, but whatever. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use another ramp to ramp back over there so I can ramp back over here again. Just because I think it would be quicker than driving there. Yep, man, she's. So I'll just do this. Whoa, whoa, no, no! Hey, just keep going, just keep going, don't go into the water, and, well, flipping over is not as bad. Now we need a uh, Banshee. Luckily, I know where you can get a Banshee. This is a, this is silly. <laughs> I, oh, I, I don't think you can actually, yeah, you can, you can. As long as you like go back and forth enough. I have. I know you can. There we go. Just gradually walk up this weird steep cliff. Okay. Wait, we're not where I thought we were. Oh my god. This is stupid. Okay, there's a banshee. I'm just gonna take this thing. I hit, that's not the person I wanted to run over. Okay, let's attack this again because I don't know why that didn't count. I really, that was weird. Uh, yeah, I really don't know what to do different. I'm just gonna ramp it more at this angle. Wow, so much air. Yeah, I think that's it. I think I was too far to the left. Yeah, all right, so there's another one. All right, I'm gonna go straight to the next one. one you want to uh yeah <laughs> so it's uh in that same area where we did the uh Colombian cartel sniper rampage we want to uh basically just not exactly this ramp here whoa I am probably not going to get that because I'm just taking it terribly. Although I landed in the area. Does that count? It does. Amazing. Alright, this means that, as you can see, 95,000 is going to just jump up to a million. We're going to get the uh, last one. Which is... Do, do, do. Yep. Alright, so this one is actually literally the exact same jump where we took the uh, sniping cartel mission. So yeah, this time we are gonna go like this. I mean, I'm not sure where you want to land, but I'm pretty sure as long as you land on top of this roof here, you're good. All unique jumps completed, and of course the last one I flipped. Whatever. Oh, yep, so we landed in this area, which requires walking out of... <sighs> well, there we go. All the jumps are done. Now all that's left to do is drive to the freaking save house. And of course it's an Arumpo. 
recently been a vehicle I've been in a lot for some reason. It just the game keeps giving it to me. And it didn't turn as tightly as it should have. Well, all right. So, Shoreside Vale, the area of completing everything. speed and I made it one time because what what can happen is if you drive like if you try to cut there you can just end up in the water over here which is why doing it is dangerous so I don't know why I risked it but I did all right almost there <laughs> for watching.